Aquarium Review Episode 2 75 Gallon Community Rainbow Fish Tank by Sean Baker You've got 13 Bosmani Rainbows, 5 Brokey Splendens, 1 Gold Grammy, 7 Autos, 5 Giant Danios, 4 Amano Shrimp, and 100 plus Red Cherry Shrimp. Wow! That is like the maximum best amount for a 75 gallon. Not too much, just right. I believe this is a 75 gallon long because it isn't very tall and the width looks pretty deep. I love how the plants are super lush green as it clearly contrasts the colors of the rainbow fish. Very nice dwarf sag carpeting the entire substrate. There's also some nice cryptocorians as mid-ground plants. 4 out of 5, keep it up. This is an Iwagumi Aquascape by Bubble Studios. First off, I love the hardscape, the serious stones, a true classic setup. There's some orange rotala in the back as well as some carpeting plants. Once those carpeting plants cover the entire substrate, it will look absolutely amazing. I'm sure everything will grow in in no time as you've got a CO2 diffuser which makes plants grow a lot faster. As for the stocking, there are two autosynclus and one cardinal tetra. I think there's also a shrimp in the back. I recommend adding around 5 more cardinals so that they really stand out. 4.5 out of 5, keep it up. This tank is from Aquarolax and it is one of the most eccentric setups I have ever seen. You've got some very odd looking fish here which I believe are threadfin rainbow fish. Threadfins are a very distinct type of rainbow fish and they kind of look like aliens. But they're still pretty good looking. Well you actually have a whole school of them. In the back there's like 10 autosynclus. Very beautiful lotus plant It makes the setup look even more peculiar. Also nice carpeting plants they're looking very healthy. Great oddball setup, I really love it. 4.8 out of 5, keep it up. This is a 6 gallon planter tank with guppies and endlers. Right off the bat you see this beautiful lush growth of plants everywhere. I believe this is pearl weed or some type of rotala. The entire setup looks absolutely wonderful, beautiful plants everywhere and some even growing out of the tank. Super beautiful lush growth, it is a masterpiece. The only thing I would recommend is remove some of the fish because with the amount of plants you added, there's only room for 10 fish at the most. Apart from that, amazing setup, 4.7 out of 5, keep it up. This is a Jewel Rio 300 gallon planet tank by Tommy P. Peterson. It's got Java Fern, Cryptocryony, Anubias, Amazon Sword Plants, and many more. I see you've got this very beautiful piece of driftwood in the corner, actually both corners, and they give this entire aquarium this very, very nice look. I love how this tank is understocked, I can only see an endler over here, but maybe you could add a couple more endlers and some bottom dwelling fish. I think you're trying to grow some carpeting plants down at the bottom. Once those plants finish growing, it is going to look even better. I also recommend adding some taller plants. 3.8 out of 5, keep it up. This tank is sent in from Harrison Tropicals. I like how it's understocked. Actually, maybe not. The stocking is just right. Is this a piranha? Wow, you should know better than to add a piranha with angelfish. Just kidding guys, I know this is a silver dollar tetra. A lot of people would totally mistake these fish for piranhas. They are very similar though, at least in appearance. Anyways, this is a nice simple setup with some driftwood and some stones. You've got a couple stems of kabamba. Very nice setup, although I would recommend adding some tough plants like anubias or hornwort. Or maybe just add some more kabamba. Because silver dollar tetras eat a lot of aquarium plants, but not those hard and tough plants. So I would definitely go with those. 3.5 out of 5. Fish Central sent in this fish tank. It's a 55 gallon and has been set up for quite a while now. Right off the bat, you see these beautiful java ferns. They're covering an entire aquarium, making it look like a jungle. Look at all those java fern roots. I absolutely love that, as well as the beautiful pieces of dark driftwood. It really provides a beautiful layout. It also helps that you have a black background. Great stocking options too, I see you've got some beautiful looking guppies at the top. You could definitely add a couple more fish like some autosynclus or some platys. The only thing not so good looking in my opinion is the substrate, but it's not as if you could change anything now. I just think it looks a bit too bright compared to everything else. Very nice setup overall, 4 out of 5, keep up the great work. If you want your fish tank to be showcased in a future episode, then feel free to send me a picture to my gmail address. Have a wonderful day everyone, and I will see you all in the next video, which will be out in a few days. Goodbye!